Hello, I'm Argama, and I just woke up, so I might sound a little hoarse, a little tired, and I might yawn a lot, because that's what happens when I just wake up. <laughs> Anyways, this is part one slash two of the um, ultimate beginner's guide to live 2D, uh, step, whatever. <clears throat> um, so... In the last one, I showed setting up the artwork. And mind you, everything is really pared down. Um, so for this, some things might be a little simpler because I'm whatever, but I'll, exp I'll explain. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to open our uh, Photoshop file, which should have been from last time. Because uh, this opens Photoshop files. And we'll keep the layer information, which is great. And... Um, I'm doing the chibi. I figured it would be easier for, you know, whatever. Because chibis are easy enough and you can get the general gist of how to do everything with it. Um, so this is, your layout might be slightly different than mine, but this is basically what it will look like. You'll have this part over here, it says parts, and this is all the parts that you have. Um, you can go through here to expand or even like turn things off and on. Um, down here is deformers, which is once we start making deformers, it'll show um, the hierarchy of the deformers. Um, over here is some tools, uh, details. They also can like give you information on like, oh, um, let's just grab this and let's say we go over here. It'll give you like tools and stuff over here. Um, this is our inspector tab. This is going to tell us information about it. Uh, like the, the name, the ID, the deformer part, uh, if we're going to clip it to anything, along with the draw order and the opacity. And the draw order is all default set to 500. But if for some reason we need to switch to make some something pop on top, uh, we'll need to adjust the draw order. So, yeah. Uh, along with a blend mode, which I don't use too often, and there's like other stuff in here, but that's basically all you'll need. Um, and then the parameters. And the parameters is what we're going to use to allow it to be tracked. So like X and Y, like nothing's there now, but we will add parameters that says this face at this point is going to be face forward, and this one's going to be this way, and this one's going to be this way. And uh, then it's like the up and down, left and right, and then eyes open and close. And we're going to do that for everything. Um, and so for right now, we're going to start with the heads. I, I always start, you know, pick a starting point. Usually the head's where I go. And I'll turn everything else off. Um, to make it easier, so I'm only working with a little bit at a time, you know. Um, let me turn off the turn off a lot of the stuff all right I'll even turn off the eyes we're gonna just start with the face um, and this is a hairline that's for the back um, and what we can do is we can actually clip it to the face if we grab this ID here we'll copy it and then we'll go over here and it says clipping ID here and then hit enter and now it's clipped to that so it won't go past this. And that's just kind of set things up. Now, in order to start getting things moving, we can apply um, the perimeters now, or the points now. But it's much better if we have uh, vertices on here. And uh, that'll make it deform even better. And you can do an auto which is easy and it's for something like this it's usually fine you can do a little so there's a, just a, um, a few you can do heavy to where there's a lot I will say that sometimes the program gets a little um, hinky when it comes to heavy and it'll make the whole thing disappear if that's the case just go back to little um, or you can even go over into this one right here where it's um, a pen and you can just edit your mesh manually. So like, let's say I want to move this one here and let's say I want to add one here. I can do that. And, and what I'm really looking for is to make sure that there is a mesh between the edges. It's not too close because these will allow me to move and adjust. And then when I'm done, like, so you have these 
things over here. You know, you pretty much mess around with it. Um, one thing you might want to do is an auto connect, which if you see these blue lines means that these lines can connect, so you can auto connect and bam, you're just not bad. You just hit the check and you're done. And to give you an idea, as long as we're on this arrow up here, we can grab these and it'll kind of stretch and morph and all that other good stuff. Um, but we're not going to edit this mesh manually like that per vertices. These little dots are vertices. In case I say that and I, you know, a lot and you don't know what I'm talking about. Instead, we're going to add a deformer to this and that's this button right here. Actually, it's these buttons, but we're going to stick with this one first. Um, and this is going to create this mesh around the face. I'm going to name this uh, face X and Y because we're going to work on doing the X and Y parameters. And there's a grid that comes up here and you can adjust this grid over here like that or whatever you want. I'm going to keep it at five by five. Um, depending on which version of uh, cubism you're using, will limit the how many of the divisions you can have. It'll also limit how many of these uh, meshes, um, these deformers you can have, and how many masks you can have too. They limit a lot of stuff depending on if you have the pro version versus the trial version or the free version. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but. The cost of the program is like 20 bucks a month. And if you're only going to make one model, it's worth just getting it for the month and just being like, I'm done with it. Yeah. All right. So now that we have this, let's add our first um, parameter, which is going to be the angle X. And I just hit this three button, which will give us the center and then the uh, left and right. And we're going to basically turn the head to the direction of these. So it goes this way, it's going to look, you know, look that way, and this way, that way, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we already have the straightforward, so let's do this one. So if the face is going to look over here, I'm just going to kind of grab this and pull this up. Maybe pull this in a little bit. And I'm going to just try to adjust this to make it look like uh, the shape of a face. That would be turned sideways. Um, if I don't want this red box around here. I can hit this X and that'll allow me to like grab and move things without having to worry about things moving. <clears throat> the greens kind of grab chunks, which is good for something like this because I can kind of morph the head this way. And I might want to pull this in like that and pull these back. And I'm just fine tuning a little bit here and there. This is... <clears throat> uh, Live 2D is kind of a tedious process, and tedious doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. I know a lot of people like to take my words out of context, <coughs> but um, <laughs> uh, what I mean by tedious is, is is a lot of like doing the same thing over and over, and a lot of fine tuning and fixing and all that other stuff. And like tedious work isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can be very zen and very tranquil. Uh, it's kind of like art and comic work. I love doing that stuff, and that also is very tedious. And I, I just love it. Um, to me, it's very chill. Uh, so here we're just kind of getting like what we think that face is, and you can just take this little dot over here, and if you um, uh, right click, it'll snap to the nearest one, but I want to just kind of drag it to make it look like this face is turning. And you'll see that nothing's over here. Yeah, that kind of looks alright. Maybe, uh, maybe give it a little chin again. Right about here. Yeah, okay. And I like that, and I want it to look that way on the other side. So what I can do is, is I can come over to here and I can do reflect motion. As long as I'm selected on the one I want, uh, reflect motion, uh, it's going to reflect it horizontally and bam. And mind you, this pink isn't moving right now, so we don't even need to worry about that. But now I have my face moving back and forth. And you'll notice that I don't have um, shadows painted on this face, and I do not recommend adding shadows painted on a face. Um, instead, make those separate layers. 
because then when we make the thing that is casting those shadows move, if the shadows don't move, it looks a little weird. And I know sometimes artists will paint shadows on the skin texture without, like, realizing. Um, yeah, so I like this. Uh, there might be a few adjustments here and there I might want to make, like that. So it's kind of more of that bloop. Pull that like that. Yeah. And this is, like, the gist of how to use transformers and stuff. Um, now on top of that, we're going to do the, uh, Y, which is the up and down. And I have a, uh, little, um, cheat sheet over on, uh, my Twitter on what all these parameters are for, for basics. And I, I will link it so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, let's do the up and down now. So now we have the straightforward. So we have two straightforwards. And this one's going to be up. So... I gotta figure out how I wanna make this look up. Usually I just kinda grab and pull up. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not doing overly detailed. It's a little harder when it comes to like people faces. Um, I use kind of like a cheat sheet that I made where I have all the faces in the angles to make it a lot easier to just kinda like pull to where I want. Uh, but when it comes to this, like a chibi, this is fine. Um, <clears throat> so I, I recommend, like, if you have trouble trying to get the angles right, to take a look at my cheat sheet. I'll try to link that down below as well. <laughs> All right, now let's do the down. Just a smidgen. Now, if I want that red box around it again, I make sure I'm in the parameters that have a red circle on it, and then just click on the deformer over here, and then it should appear. And this lets me, like, move the whole thing. I might move it up just a smidgen. All right. Which is good. Now, here's the thing. We've only done it for this parameter. So if we come over here, it's not going to move up and down, which is sad. So you got to do it for all of them. But there is a cheat you can do. You see this little connector here? Like, these little things? You can link them together. Now you have a chain. And this will kind of, like let you see what corners haven't been done but you can come over to here and you can do um, synthesize corners now these are not perfect and I do recommend adjusting if possible but now they've kind of given you uh, a synthesized corner and honestly for a chibi this is actually fine I think I'm going to fix this one just a smidgen. I'm not too worried about the back of the head here. It's more of what's going to be seen. And even like part of this cheek's not really going to be seen. Um, yeah. And that's the introduction to, to parameters and stuff. <laughs> um, so... This is the, the introduction to this program. It gives you a basic idea. And this is going to have to be done with everything here. And we're going to go through that. I'm going to have um, a tutorial. I'm going to show you in each tutorial what we're doing and how we're doing it. But this for this one, that's all I'm really showing you. It's going to be kind of short. It's like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, depending on if I cut anything out. Just so you get the general basic idea. And uh, next time we're going to apply some stuff to the face. Maybe we'll do the eyes. Mm, eyes. Maybe. Maybe some eyes. I don't know. I don't really. <laughs> I don't play shit out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, tutorial uh, to help you become the VTuber self you want to be. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you guys watching me. I love you guys. If you love my stuff or you care about me, then please like and share my stuff. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.